All right, welcome, welcome. What's up, tight spot? How are you? We uh, need to get this off season done so we can move on to the next season. Um, I will tell you, wife got uh, let go from her job yesterday, so she's she's got PTO that she's eating up right now, and then they'll pay her severance and shit. So she's gonna be home twenty four seven. So that's gonna cut into the uh, stream time. So we may do more nighttime streams rather than daytime streams moving forward. Uh, in fact, I might even come back later tonight and play some uh, NCAA. We will see. Um, but I also have to look for a full-time job, a real job, which would severely cut into streaming as well. So anyway, it is what it is. It's life. Got to go on. Um, I abruptly ended last stream because I was so pissed off at this game for the shenanigans they pull. And we didn't finish the uh, postseason, so let's uh, see who the Phillies play in the World Series. And that's going to be Houston. They won in five over Minnesota. So we have the Phillies and the Astros playing a World Series, a rematch from a few years ago. So let, uh, let's just do advance a day at a time and see what the, the results are. I also have to... I have to create that player that we lost, that center fielder that we got screwed out of after we drafted him. I have to go in and create him. Um, I used a different save file and went forward to see what those ratings um, would be, should be. Um, so I have an idea. Um, I might pull his clutch down and his durability up so that uh, he's not just a monster in the clutch all the time. So... Um, otherwise it's, it's pretty much right on the mark of what he should have been, um, based on the f a formula, some guy stated in a, in a comment on one of Fiend franchises, uh, videos. So anyway, let's advance day by day. We've got two or three days off. This should be the first game. This will definitely be the first game. Nope. There we go. Philadelphia. When's the first game? Aaron Nola, three nothing shutout. Three hits shutout. All right, it's them this next day, and the Phillies win three to two. Zach Wheeler, a three hitter. Houston having trouble uh, scoring runs and getting hits. All right, Astros up. Or I'm sorry, Astros down two nothing, and they bounce back with an eleven to five win. Alvarez with five RBI. Sandoval gives up five, but gets the dub. Tywin Walker gets lit up. Remember, he's the guy that shut us out. Um, and then they win the next one. Alvarez with a home run. Garcia, good game for Houston. Chris Rodriguez got beat up in relief. We have a tie series. All right, here we go. This should not be Zach Wheeler. I guess, well, one, two, that's only three days off. They're pitching him a three days rest. Okay. This should be Nola. All right, well, here we go. And Houston wins three straight. Christian Javier just went down with Tommy John. Wheeler pitches great on three days rest. This should be Nola here. Nola and Urquidy. And the Phillies win 5-4, to four, so we're going 7. Rojas and Real Muto with home runs. Tucker and Pena with home runs. Brian Abreu lost. He blew the save. He had a chance to win the World Series and blew it. All right. Game 7 at Houston. Yeah, let's do this. Hold on. All right. Three. There you go down one, two, three. Three. There you go down one, two, three. Take your base, ball four. Three. 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 
two singles, three singles, a walk. Bases loaded, two outs, Trey Turner. They get a force out. And the Phillies only get one out of that big mess. Single for Neto. Double for Pena. Three. Still one nothing Phillies. This is game seven. Single for Altuve. Single for Noda. Single by Alvarez ties the game. Double by McCormick drives in two more. Now New pitcher. All right, we go to the seventh. Houston's got a. I was blowing up my. I'm going to turn off Discord because it's not even my Discord. All right. Single, triple, Muriel Muto gets him down within one. Two ground outs don't score the run. Wow, they get a man on third with nobody out. Tying run and he can't score. All right, Houston. Single by DS, fly out. All right, six outs to go for the Astros. Three, three. Double by Turner. Boehm walks, two on, two out. And they score a run somehow. Didn't see what happened. Tie game, bottom of eight. Alvarez walks, double play. There we go, ninth inning. McCullers in. Double by Real Muto. Single by Miller. Man at the corners and nobody out. Stole second. A three-run homer by Moore. That's the replacement for Stott. Wow. Double, single. Phillies go nuts. They get three runs in the ninth. It's six to three. They're going to have to replace this pitcher. There you go. Alvarado coming in to nail it down. Double by Pena. Fly up by Bregman. Ground up by Neto. And that's it. The Phillies beat the Astros with a three-run homer in the ninth inning by a rookie. Robert Moore with a three-run homer in the ninth inning to win the World Series. Wow. Okay. Let's see who the uh, award winners were for the playoffs. Rojas was World Series MVP. I don't agree with that. I think the dude that just hit the three-run homer <laughs> should be World Series MVP. And uh, Harper was the playoff MVP. If you didn't see the regular season, Otani won the National League MVP, Judge, the American League. Strider was Cy Young, Pablo Lopez, the American League. Freeman, batting title, Judge, batting title. Bednar was reliever of the year. Abreu, who blew the World Series in Game s Game 5. One, two, two, three. Game 6. It was Game 6. They blew the game. They would have won the World Series, but he gave up runs in the ninth. Uh, Painter was Rookie of the Year. Walker Jenkins, Rookie of the Year. So, all right. Let's just go to the off season. And anybody retire that's of note. Jose Abreu. Daniel Bard. Tyler Anderson. Boxberger. Sally, David Dahl, Ledmus Diaz, Elias Diaz, Kyle Gibson, Yasmani Grandal, Shane Green, Liam Hendricks, Toy Hunter Jr., that's a young retire, Aaron Loop, Kenta Maeda, Jake Marisnik, Starling Marte, Miles Michaelis. So, two of the pitchers that we got rid of both retired two years later. Will Myers, Tyler Naquin, Jake Odorizzi. He's from here. Martin Perez, Rob Snyder, Chris Sale, Nick Solak, Syndergaard, Trinan, Voigt. Mikey Stremski, wow, okay. No Hall of Famers. 
All right, so we have these three veterans, um, our exclusive free agents. I'm not bringing either or any of these guys back. So Sonny is down to a 79, and I'm not going to bring him back. Harold, he was just a bench bat, and we have somebody else that can replace him, so we're not going to. And Duvall, um, he served his purpose, but he's regressing heavily now, so I can go find somebody else. So we're not going to do anything with that. Um... We don't have any coaches to replace. We're not rebranding the team. So we can just... Arenado exercised his option, so he's back for $32.5 million. Get our budget. This will be his last year. He was awesome in the playoffs, but he's heavily regressing here. So he's uh, he's getting... He's great defensively still, but he's he's losing his power and he's losing his contact, so... He's pretty much just going to play against right-handed pitchers for us. And we'll uh, have Thomas Sejaci come up from minor leagues and he'll platoon with Arenado. Um, maybe we play... Yeah, we can just play JC at third. Or we can play him at second and move Gorman to third, whatever. Um, so I'll keep him around for one more year since he played so well for us in the playoffs especially. And it's not like he had a bad year last year. It's not you know, this level, but I'll, I'll let him play one more year. Maybe we win a, a World Series for him, and then he can retire, or he can go be a free agent somewhere else. So we'll let him come back. Contreras is regressing. Um, let me go look here roster-wise. We've got a catcher. Um, Contreras is an 82. Henry Davis is an 81. So Contreras is 66-81. He's 66-68. He's 68, 61. So we'll probably play Henry Davis against lefties. Although Contreras' contact's higher. We'll see. An a-hole tried to add you in a friend on Discord. Yeah, I had to ban an a-hole yesterday. Um, Herrera. We're going to lose this guy. Um, Nick Met. Um, this guy, I don't know. We... He's still young. He's 26. And we don't have anybody down here that's ready to come up. But I don't really want to carry three catchers unless we consider Henry Davis the replacement for Duvall in right field because Davis can play right field. Um, we could do that. Contreras can also play left field. Um, so we may end up with three catchers even though I don't want to. Um, Ramirez is going bye-bye. And we drafted this guy. He's got... Good power and contact against lefties. He's he's uh, he's going to have to progress quickly though. Um, so JC's going to be on the roster. Is he in a forty man now? Yeah, he's going to make the team. He can play first, second, third, and short. So he's going to be on the team, and he will end up basically replacing Arenado after this next coming season. Parks is still down in the minors. Um, he'll be probably second baseman of the future, maybe leadoff guy, and Gorman can move to first, or he can be a DH full-time. This guy, I, I'll probably keep him around because he has such good bat against lefties, and he can play so many positions. He can help us out if somebody gets injured or whatever, but I don't like paying him as much as I am. Um, this guy is not working out. He's not doing a whole hell of a lot, even in the minors. Um we have this guy in the minors. There's more contact than power, but I uh, I have other options. So we could trade him now. Um, he's on the 40 man and he's out of options. So we may trade him this off season because he's not going to replace um, Arenado. So uh, Win is up to a 91. Look at that. Plus 11 contact against lefties. My goodness. Walker's up to a 91. Donovan's regressing a little bit. He's got one more year on his contract, and we'll have to see how bad he regresses next year, whether we'll bring him back or not. Um, this guy, great bat. Not much durability, not much defense. We'll just kind of leave him the minors and <clears throat> wait till he gets in the 70s. Nathan Church really doesn't do much of anything. He's not good at anything other than defense, so he's not going to be on the on the 
Major League roster anytime soon. Tommy Edmond got pushed up to an A potential. He's up to a 91, now he's an A potential. And we got him for 15 mil this year, so we're going to have to re-sign him um, next year at the end of this. Com- this com- we can sign him to extension early in the season, so hopefully he continues to to play well. He's doing great. I just wish he had more uh, more power against righties, but I don't mind him being a slap hitter against righties. Uh, Victor Scott will be on the roster. Defensive guy, speed. Um, Elijah Green's a little bit of ways away. He doesn't have much of a bat. Duvall's going away. We still have to add that um, draft pick, Usneel Colon. I'm probably going to move Cologne to right field because we don't have a young right fielder behind Newt Barr and Burleson. Um, so we'll move Cologne to right. Um, he can be our future right fielder. So I'm going to create him here in a minute once we get past this stage. So, nope, we just need to advance. And then you see the free agents. Jazz Chisholm, Montgomery, Bednar, Freddie Peralta, Cody Bellinger. Let's go look. Mountcastle, Bednar, Yandy Diaz. No one, no one's offering Yandy. Wow. No, he's not good defensively, but he's a good bat. Tariq Skubal, he would cost us a high pick. I, I'd like him, but I'm not going to offer him a deal. Jonah Heim I like, but he can't hit righties. That's not good. Freddie, Freddie's really good, but we're not signing um, big-time free agents here. Abreu would be nice as walks per niner. Eh. He had 54 saves this year and 52 last. Jazz only hits righties. Alvarado? Wow. Phillips, there's a lot of closers out there. I just don't want to spend a lot of money on closers. What's up, Spectre? How you doing, man? Welcome in. Welcome in. Nico Horner's out there. If we need a second baseman, I would chase him, but we don't need him. Um, power hitting first baseman. If we needed a DH, I would go get this guy. Um, Kirk. Eh. Cody's out there, but he's regressing already. There's a lot of closers on here. So I am not interested in going out and signing any of these guys. I'm just going to let this go for the most part. Let me see if there's any young players out here. There's an 18-year-old pitcher. It's a 54 overall, but he's not in a good spot. Yeah, Specta, I'm just trying to get the offseason over with. Um, what I might do, Specta, is I might do this and, and do this for a couple hours, speed through the signings because I'm not really interested in bringing in any big-time free agents, and I might make a couple of <laughs> trades, but we're going to get to spring training. And then I'm going to do some player locks with the pitchers that are competing for the number five spot. So Tink Hentz, Chris Cutliff, Takoa Roby will do spend most of our spring training uh, pitching with those pitchers. I, I pretty much have already decided that Cutliff is going to come up and be our number five. Yeah, I still got to fix that. Um, we'll put him on the team here in a minute. But um, Cutliff was the first first round pick and he's ready to go. Um, Let's see if there's any other pitchers out here, especially young pitchers that snuck through and didn't sign unsigned free agents. I don't see it. Any relievers? All you're looking for is people that are 18 to 23 and where those those red things with the negative numbers or the or the uh, the yellowish orange ones with the positive numbers. If I can find somebody. Guys that are going up, I don't see any people. Like, they're not regressing. Um, like that, that goldish orange color. All you're doing is you're going in here and looking to see if there's somebody that has nothing. It's completely blank on that row where those, like this guy. See how it's blank? That means he was in the draft and he's an unsigned undrafted free agent so you can just sign them you know 60 to 90 thousand a year and they'll sign right away and go on your uh, minor league roster so we're just looking for guys that kind of slip through the crack that would be uh, useful in the minor leagues that's all of them i need to get rid of all these low ass first basemen could use another young first baseman 
There's one out here. Doesn't look like it. Second. He's a D. They gotta be at least a C potential, or they have to be a high overall D potential and just be a roster filler for the minor leagues. Because you, you want to make sure you have some decent players in your minors so that they do well for your prospects, especially your pitchers. Um, so that they get wins and they have good games and they progress up. So see anybody. We're just looking for young guys that skip through after the draft. He's a D. won't take very long this guy can hit but he can't field we already have those guys in the minors their build in the minors don't want it if you can find somebody that's in the 60s or 70s that's young and nope okay so all right, there are no free agents that we want to go after. There are plenty of free agents worth going after, but we're not going after any of them. Um, oh. That said, I do need to add another reliever. I could just offer Barlow arbitration. Let's just offer him a one-year deal. Worth 1.3. He'll take that. And then we don't have to worry about that. And King. One year, 750. All right, and that takes care of that. And if they don't sign by the time we get to arbitration, then we'll offer them arbitration. Um, tender contracts. How many guys do we have on the roster? We have to cut at least two players. So this, this, if you go here, this will tell you how many players you have by position. So you go up to the handshake icon, go to update trade block, hit square twice. And now up there, it tells you I have 20 pitchers, starting pitchers in my organization. That should be five at each level with the extra overflow in a ball. Relievers, you want to have six to seven so we actually could use another one or two relievers three closers are fine seven catchers are fine um i'm gonna trade away we have to create that one outfielder right so i do need to go sign a, a young outfielder to create him into the player that we got screwed out of put him in right field so we're going to lose three players. So we need to lose a third baseman, a left fielder, and probably a starting pitcher. All right. So let's go find these guys. Or guys, these are our draft picks here. And we signed, I think we signed these guys last year. Yeah, this is the guy that it drafted for us that we had no interest in, but I can I can cut him to go get that other player. Let me do that. Actually, he's better than some of the other junk that's here. I'd be better off cutting this 29-year-old. All right, we'll cut him. And now let's go find a young outfielder. Just need a 21 year old, not a 20, 21. All right, he's offered a contract. So, 40 man, we need to put Takoa Roby. Um, 
um, Barriera. This other starting pitcher. And. <laughs> Tink and Cutlip. All right, we got to take somebody off the 40 man. And that's going to be a catcher. We don't need four catchers. Pedro Pajes It's coming off. Cutliff is coming on. And that gives us. Ten starting pitchers, seven relievers, one closer. Pretty much three at everything else. We have a full 40-man roster. I don't care if I lose any of those other guys. Um, okay. on here? It's a little, a little muggy here today. All right, so let's go in and do this. Now, they've changed it this year to where you can just hit renew contract but you're going to cost yourself money doing that just go make offer we're going to put him on his three years of renewable and we're going to drop this until that green goes away and then goes back and right now i can it's not going to go back so we're going to pay him 60k a year for three years cutliff watch that green bar over there I'm going to get him for 60 also yeah. 70. All right, 70 for you. He's automatic. What's Tink going to be at? He's at 60. Okay. Roby. He should be around 60 as well. These guys, you don't have to do it. Usually I do this off camera, but I uh, I didn't finish the playoffs on camera when I, I was so upset. I just logged off and I didn't finish it. So you guys got to sit here and watch me go through all of this mess. doing that I'll do two years renewable 50 All of these guys will take these deals. They'll all resign. Probably 90% of them will take it within the next um, two or three days. Let me see. We need to get rid of a. Uh, Third baseman, a left fielder. So what I might do is uh, put both of them together in one trade so we can make it go fast. There's one trade I could do right now. If I wanted to, Smith Schauber, I could do this trade right now. Ryan Clifford, they'll make that deal. Let's 
do this. Let's say you, you, and what can we get? We could get Heston and Kerstad <laughs> and Connor Norby. That's interesting. Anthony Santander and Mac Horvath. Jared Duran and Kyle Teal. Kyle's a good young catcher. We could get Devers and pay him $30 million for the next decade. Spencer Jones. Twenty one year old shortstop, twenty six year old second baseman. Dropping down to a twenty three year old third baseman. I'm going to look at uh, what kind of prospects we would get to <laughs> Carlos Correa. 18-year-old B71 pitcher. I'll take the B. I'll take the B pitcher. Who's that? Ryan McGregor. Let's go look at him. Yeah, his pitching clutch is terrible. Let's just look at prospects. What do you give us? Spencer Jones. Let me look. We need to lose one player, so it needs to be a two for one or a three for two. What if we added Smith Shaver? Make this a big deal. Let's go, let me see. We go him, him, and him. Go MLB ready. <laughs> Westbrook, Sam Tander, and Baker. Wow, Felix Bautista, we get their closer. I don't need three guys, I just want one. Just give me one. Gavin Williams. Don't need a starting pitcher, though. I think we can get Rookie of the Year Walker Jenkins and Edward Julian. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Jared Jones and Shane Le Shea Langleyers. Get Brian Wu. Ty Pete. Wyatt Langford. Where's revamp? He'd be really pissed off. We get Steel White, Langford, and Jose Leclerc. <laughs> we can get Helsley back. Frankie Lindor. We could get Adrian Miller and Mick Cable. What, what kind of nonsense is that? James Wood. Now, I would love to get James Wood. Not trading Zach Gallon. <laughs> we can get Freddie Freeman, guys. Yamamoto. Let's see what we can get. <laughs> what what do we even how about left field? How about left field? What is out there left field wise that we would even consider? Would you do it for Judge? No. I didn't think so, but it was worth a try. Peter Vigna is the guy we wanted to get in the first round. Wow, they said that's even? Really? Wyatt Langford. Hmm. 
Not right field. Kerstad's already 28. It's not even that great. He's regressing. Hmm. What can we do? Walker Jenkins. He's really nothing special right now. Kyle Tucker. Making 22 million a year for seven years. He's got six years left on that deal. Okay. Didn't think they would do that one. Trout? No. Acuna? What's James Wood at? Yeah, he's not there yet. Soto. Corbin Carroll. Nolan Jones. They would trade us from Nolan Jones. Tatis. Well, bet you if we gave up more than that left fielder, we'd get him. But he's regressing. <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. We could trade him for Machado. They'd give us Machado. He's regressing, but not in as much as uh, Arenado is. Um, they trade Austin Riley. Jose Ramirez. <laughs> He's regressing, though. Junior Camonero. We could get more than Camonero. Devers, but look at his contract. He's getting paid $31 million forever. <laughs> I mean, we're already paying 30, 32 and a half for Arenado, so it's not much of an increase, but... Um, I'm going to have to pay Walker and Nolan Gorman here sh uh, soon enough, so we don't really want to sink a bunch of money in there. Gunnar Henderson? No. Jackson Holiday? They'll trade us Jackson Holiday. the best setup guy 83 was what I saw was the highest so far who was that Trevor Stephan Yuki Matsui guy's fun to pitch with in Diamond Dynasty make that deal Give me Matsui and who? Just a potential third baseman? It actually gave us more. I want Trout, damn it. Let's see what they want for Trout, just for shits and giggles. They want Jordan Walker and Tommy Edmond. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you want those guys. Yeah. A's really could use all of these guys. What do they have that we could use? Nobody. Nobody. We have nothing. Absolutely nothing to make us better. Okay. Not the White Sox. He's going to be a free agent. That'd be interesting, though. Hmm. 
Smith, Painter, and Gorman. Fuck off. Um, Riley Green. Yeah, we've already seen how good Riley Green is. Buxton, what's his injury? He's terrible. Don't shave me for Julio, huh? That even that wouldn't even be enough for Julio. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. We need to do three for two, right? Or two for one. Let's trade them. You don't have enough. Don't have enough. Ooh, we're getting close. Roll all time. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Just trying to make a trade here at the start of uh, free agency in the off season. Let's just see what these three guys would get me. I don't want all of these major league players. That's the problem. Chase Hampton. We don't need a starting pitcher. We do not need a starting pitcher. Don't need a first baseman right now either. Pratt wouldn't be too bad, but we don't need all the extra stuff they're offering. I don't know where we'd play Colson Montgomery. This would be a great trade for us, but I don't know where we'd play Colson Montgomery. Third base? Noah Schultz? I don't think this is a good trade for them. You can play third base. Nothing special, though. Cut is going to be a free agent. So that's why they would take the third baseman. <clears throat> See on the 40 man? Yes. Don't want a 40 man roster guy. Let's see if we can find somebody that has a decent young catcher, not on the 40 man, that we could poach. Yeah, love to get Harry Ford. I'll do that for Ford. Look at that, 81 speed catcher. We'd have to trade. We would, we would, we are, I don't need a guy to step in and start right now. We're okay. I need someone coming up behind. Ethan Salas. That's still not enough for Ethan Salas. I agree, but okay. I'm not going to trade in division. Soderstrom's already on the 40 man. I want somebody not on the 40 man. Preferably. <coughs> Damn, sorry. Cartaya and rushing just don't hit enough. <clears throat> Let's 
This guy's 22 already. But. But. We make this deal. They would trade that for Colton Kowser. Kowser could play third. He can also play all three outfield. <clears throat> he was 27, though. <laughs> Almost got Jackson Holiday. Um... Not enough. Teal's already on the major league roster. There are no catching prospects with a shit because the game doesn't generate enough catching prospects. He's on the 40 man also. I don't want the guy on the 40 man roster. He's regressing already. Man, I'm half tempted to just trade for Harry Ford and make him our starting catcher. That's a lot for Harry Ford, but he is an 83 at 24 years old. To trade him Herrera instead. Because they're already getting a, uh, a third baseman who's going to step in and start. <clears throat> Smith Shaver comes slots in right behind Wu. I mean, we could always give him Davis. He becomes their starting catcher. So we pick up three years and an A potential. What do you guys think? Trade Henry Davis and these two uh, pretty good prospects and get Harry Ford. Then I could ship off Wilson Contreras. You don't want to make that deal? I mean, his hitting is right there with Contreras already. And his defense is slightly better. Contreras is better clutch. Yeah. Well, I was going to let Contreras play one more year and ship him next year, but I got three catchers that have to go on the 40-man. Um, we're going to have plenty of room. See, it's going to drop from 150 down to 94 because we're going to lose Arenado. We're going to have to re-sign Edmund, though. So we have a two-year window to win stuff, and then we're going to have to start re-signing a bunch of guys. Newt Barr is going to have to be re-signed after this year. Walk, uh, Donovan after this year. Two more years of Gorman, then we got to pay him 25 to 30 mil. Um, where is he? Jordan Walker has got three more years at 3 million. Bybee's cheap at 2.7. Painter, I just signed him last season. Bought out all of his arbitration years. He won Rookie of the Year. There's nothing down here. Um, 
I mean, I don't have to trade that third baseman. He's out of options, though. That's a problem. So, I, I don't... He's not going to play. I want to play this guy. So, JC, instead. He's a better player. It's just his A potential compared to his B. But he's a year older and two points lower. So, I'm looking to deal him off. We got this guy in the minors. The problem with Davis is his, his defense is just not 54 fielding. He's right there. He's pretty much a clone of Contreras with a better arm. Fifty five power, sixty three power. Ford's a better player. He just doesn't have the vision of clutch. He's got better speed. Mm. It's back to you haven't missed anything. We've been looking at trades. I really want to trade for this twenty four year old catcher. Um, we don't have to make that deal right now. Um, what I need to do is go edit this outfielder. Oh, I gotta, I have to advance a week. Hold on. We just have to advance one day. Brian Abreu leaves the Astros and goes to the Reds. Alejandro Kirk replaces JT Real Muto as the Phillies catcher. Who did we sign? Got all these guys signed to a bunch of deals. Let me see. All right. John Grant. That's the guy we have to edit. So um, let me go in here. Let me see if I have it on my flash drive. I took a screenshot of this guy. No, we don't. All right, give me one second. This will be a whole lot easier to do it this way. Thing wouldn't plug in. This will let me pull it up on my PC over here. Get it much easier. Come on, load. So we have to edit this guy to we have to edit this guy to uh because we lost our first round pick they replaced him with a 61 overall reliever when we went to go sign him <laughs> the weirdest glitch i've ever seen so let 
Six steel cologne. Throws left. No, he throws right, bats left. He's from Dominican. Go. Gotta go edit him. All his ratings. Physical appearance. Needs to be a little bit more. Less orange. There we go. No freckles, no blemishes. Nothing, nothing, nothing. <clears throat> He is six foot tall, 174, normal, normal. He's got a different face. There we go. And. High fade, hair color is black, no sideburns, none of that stuff. And his eyes. Good, good, good. Um. He is a whole field hitter. His potential is 84. Seventy four contact against righties, forty six against lefties, fifty two power. Four power. Leave that alone. Vision is forty seven. Discipline is fifty four. Clutch, and we'll put that at seventy. Durability ninety. Speed was seventy four. Arm is 67. Accuracy is 44. Reaction 73. Fielding was 63. Stealing is 64. Does that make him a 72 overall? Nope, 71. So let me change this to center field and see if that makes him a 72 and if it knocks him down to a 71 because he's in right. He's a 73. Okay. So we need to edit him again and knock some knock his uh his clutch down. Still 73. He was a 72. He's, he's going to drop when he moves the right field. So All of this is correct. Bunting can come down. And probably his aggressiveness can come down. Now, does that make him... He's still 73. Why? It's got to be his clutch or his durability. Pull that down, pull that down. 
There we go. All right, so now we can move him to center field, or right field. <clears throat> he should be a 71. Yep. It would have knocked him down if we had moved him as well. There we go. That's the guy that we got hosed out of. <laughs> He's going to start in AAA. So that was our first round pick. Actually, I need to edit something else, like equipment. Um, eyewear. No eye black. Cleats. Yeah, he's got a necklace. Glove. More fallings. Heart of the hide. Black. White. Trapeze. Black. 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 Everything black. Bat. He has Adidas shoes, though, doesn't he? I don't need all that pine tar in there. So he needs sleeves. His right sleeve is going to be above compression sleeves, right. And it's going to be team color one. There we go. got adidas so we gave him adidas we gave him adidas uh batting gloves too um i don't like that helmet tar none there we go that's what i was looking for all right now he's done there's our guy use neil cologne Looks damn near the same as what I'm looking at over here. It's only a 71 because we moved him off of uh, center field to right field. All right. There we go. That's our first round pick. All taken care of. Save that. Guys weren't here earlier. The Phillies beat the Astros in seven games. The Phillies had a rookie hit a three-run homer in the top of the ninth to win the game, win the series. Brian Abreu blew a save in game six that would have won the World Series. <laughs> All right. So Barlow took his offer. I'm sure King will take his too. Where are we at roster size? We're at 95, so we need to cut two players. 
We're going to cut this guy. All right. What we'll do is we'll trade him. All right. We're going to make this deal. We're going to give them this A potential. And we're going to get Ryan Clifford and one other guy. Really? You'll give us Parada? <laughs> Santa 40, man. Yeah, because he's already played. What else will you give us? They don't have much. They really don't have much. Really, you'll trade us Jet Williams. He's not a 40 man, also. Wow. Well, maybe not. We have to cut two players. We need to trade basically three for one. Let's get this over with right now. Yes. You're going. You're going. Jason Dominguez, really? Jose Caballero, Jose Siri, and Isak Paredes. Mano, we don't need. Pratt would be nice. Peterman, an A78 potential. We get Jose Ramirez and Manzardo and Ranger Suarez. I just need one player. Just one guy. Don't need Bryce Miller. Be nice, but that's not what I'm looking for. Look at Matt Shaw. <laughs> Jordan Lawler. <laughs> really? Dylan Lesko. Kyle Harrison and Camilo Duvall. Jesus. They're just throwing players at us. It's like going to a strip bar and just throwing dollar bills. This was a guy in the first draft that went the pick before ours. They would never make that deal. Um, too bad they won't make this deal. We can get Class A. He's 29. I want to trade all these young guys for that. Hmm. 
We can make this trade. <laughs> um, they can't trade him. We could almost get Michael Harris. Holy shit. We could get Harper plus. <laughs> um... Get Cruz to play center field. Get James Wood to play right field. We could get them both. <laughs> wow. That's some really pretty bad logic to get both those guys. They would never make that trade in division anyway. Can't trade with any of these guys. He's terrible. Guys, we could get Nolan Jones. That would let us uh, move Newt Barr or Donovan. 99 clutch. He was hurt last year. He's really underperformed. This is so hard. They won't trade that. They won't trade that. I know we could get Jackson Holiday, but that doesn't make any sense. This third baseman is going to have to either make the roster or pass through waivers. So that's why I'm willing to trade him. Let's just do this. Two for one. We'll keep the pitcher. Or the White Sox. Tigers. I'm just looking for one guy. <clears throat> hey Montoya, what does that closer look like? It's a clutch of 70. That's not bad. He's left handed. He had a terrible 6 ERA last year. So they need another, they need to ship me another player. Wow, we could get both those guys. We don't need Acuna. Just 
Oh, James Wood, James Wood, James Wood. That would be... That would be... He's still a couple of years away. Could do it for Dylan Cruz. Can't trade in division. This is just driving me insane. Don't want Lawler. All these guys are old. What was this picture? It's bad. Who do they have at third? Nothing. This guy will step in and start. He will step in and start. I don't need him. Let's do this. Anybody outstanding here? We've had Stefan before. He's not that outstanding. Yuki Matsui would just be phenomenal. Two years left. Is a third baseman. Yeah, he would definitely love him. You're going to give me this guy back. This A potential third baseman. Looks more like a second baseman. So you're going to give up a setup guy because you already have a closer. No, he is their closer. Mm. But there's a ton of closers. They can go sign one. And they have plenty of money. So we'll give him a shit left fielder, a starting third baseman for a prospect third baseman, Yuki Matsui. Look, look. I'm taking way too damn long. We've been an hour and 21 minutes. I was expecting to be done and playing spring training games right now. Abner and Uribe, they're not going to trade in division. A potential catcher who's 61. And B. Lieber. Yeah, he's 30 something years old, though. I don't need him. I've got somebody else to play third. I would rather make the deal for Matsui. That would give us two stud lefties in the pen. Plus another prospect third baseman to replace Martinez. All right. To do this deal, I will overpay and give them him. Because I'm taking their closer and I'm taking an A potential third baseman. I'll give them... Starting pitcher that'll go into their rotation pretty soon. They got a bunch of age, right? Let's make this deal right here. Print this. Done. Still got to cut one guy. Matsui cannot wear number one, two, three, or four. 
<laughs> They're all retired. He's not wearing Yachty's number. Um, I'll give him 11, but I don't know. That might be already taken as well. Yeah, I gave him 13. That's fine. So now we have JoJo and Matsui and Sam. We got, and Canel. We are loaded for bear. Does Barlow got any, um, yeah, Barlow can go to the miners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's 12. We're good. We're good. All right. We improved our bullpen. We got rid of a third baseman that really wasn't in our long-term plans. We replaced him. We replaced him with an A potential third baseman who's 19. We can just let him grow. Um, after Arenado leaves at the end of this year, we'll either shift Gorman to third or Sajasi to third. We'll move one of those guys to third base. All right, Wins got sec our third base down. Walker's playing DH, but he could play he could play outfield now. His fielding's much better. He could also play some first base. Um, Donovan, we'll have to see how much he wants in in uh, free agency. This guy's just cooking in the minors. <clears throat> Victor Scott will be up, backing up, give us speed and defense. These guys are still developing down here. Uh, we got Newt Bar for another year. Burleson probably going to go back to AAA. Cologne. He might need a couple years to develop, so we might have to like stick Walker and Wright. We'll see. We could carry three catchers because Davis then would give us a backup in right field. Right? And if we wanted a pinch run for someone, we're not down to two catchers. Naylor at first. These three guys. M. M. Those two, those two, we could actually carry Burleson if we wanted to. Or even Luke and Baker. Um, closer, all of our bullpen here. Starting rotation right there. We're going to go to spring training here in a minute, and we're going to pitch with Cutliff, Hence, and Roby. That's all we're going to do is pitch with those guys. What does our budget look like? We're at 100, we still have 85 million to spend if we wanted to. And then if we don't bring back Edmund in center field and Arenado, that's $47.5 million we can spend next year. That's 50.8, 53.8. So we're going to have $53.8 million to spend on top of the 85 that we have right now. <laughs> So, um, don't need any of these guys. Be nice to have Fraley's bat off the bench, but I'm not going to overpay for him. I mean, he'd be—he would definitely be better than Burleson. And they're offering him ten mil a year. I'm not paying him that. Nobody's offering Hap? Really? No one's offered Jazz. Jazz. Um, no one's offered Bellinger. If we needed a DH, I'd go sign him. I think we're done. We still have to cut one player. I think we're going to cut a third baseman. This guy right here. All right. Now we're good. We're at 93. 40-man roster is fine. One guy for arbitration. We've already tendered all these deals. Do we have anybody that we added that needs the contract offer? Still on waivers. Still on waivers. Okay. 
Let's go. Let's say Alvarado goes to Seattle, so he's out of the entire league. Let's do everybody do Veerling goes to the Padres from Matt Waldron. Chris Bryant goes to the Diamondbacks. Giants got Paredes for Sable and Higgins. Herstead goes to the Marlins for Braxton Garrett. Wow. Greater all to the Nationals. Can check to the Yankees. Cinel Perez to the Braves. Mejia to the Marlins. Soroka to the Tigers. They're set. We're good. I'll offer you arbitration. 860. That's all I'm offering. You're in the minors. All right. So that's good. We only have he's fine. We're at ninety three. All right. Evan Phillips goes to the Rockies as their closer. Bednar goes to the Yankees. Wow. Alzale to the Dodgers. Closers are going everywhere. Mountcastle to Miami. Hoffman to the Braves. Okay. Must be tendered. I think Jared Young is already tendered. So we only need one guy more to sign. King took his. So we're down to one guy that needs to be re-signed. Scoobles being bandy. Ooh, come on. Angels get him. I don't want to see him go to the Phillies. No one's after Yandy Diaz. Really? Really? God. That's a hell of a bat just sitting there. Even on a one-year deal. No one's after Bellinger. If he's still sitting there late in uh, spring training, I'll go sign him. I'll just stick him on the bench. I don't care. All right. This is contracts tendered. Got that. Hassan Kim to the Orioles. There I already have Gunnar Henderson. Why did they sign him? Jonah Heim to the Mets. There it is. Alvarez. School to the Phillies. God damn it. Crochet to the Nationals. What are the Mets doing? doing why why would you sign both these guys makes no sense and neither one has secondary so one's got a dh and he sucks against righties they're really gonna platoon these two guys Shit, I'd platoon him with Donovan in left field. Let Donovan play against righties and Belgium against lefties. Peralta to the Cubs. Abner Ribe. Abner goes from the Brewers to the Rangers for Leclerc and Acosta. Tovar. Giants traded Tovar to the Mets. Why would they want Tovar when they have... That makes no sense. What are the Mets doing? They have Lindor and Tovar and Jet Williams. 
They don't have a first baseman. That makes no sense. None. Wow. All right. Chase Petty for Victor Scott. <clears throat> well, no. I don't need him. I have better pitchers. All right, let's see what happens with the uh, draft lottery. Nationals, 106 losses. You had four teams with 100 losses. The Mets are being stupid. I don't understand. I could go get Lindor for nothing if I didn't have Mason win. <laughs> All right, let's see if any good teams jump 15 spots. No, the White Sox go up one, the Giants go up three, the Nationals go down four. We're picking 28. You can see we won 102 games. We're picking 28, and I believe we have pick 31 or two or something like that because Painter got Rookie of the Year. So we're going to have two, basically two first-round picks really close together. That'll be new and different. So if there's actually a stud closer sitting out there, I will not be opposed to taking him with that second pick. Or even the first pick. Because usually the closers go once you get into that next round. So if there's an absolute stud closer, um, we have Romano, who is not young. Um, I, will, I will not shy away from taking him. Nico Horner to the Dodgers. Well, they needed a second baseman. Rule 5 draft. We have a full 40-man roster, so we're not going to get the pick. All right. Let's, uh, I guess we don't have a full 40-man roster. I'm not going to take anybody, but let's see what's out here. Jake Brents. He's not. That's the wrong Brents. That's the wrong Brents. Lamont Wade. Sabato. Chris Bryant's available. Logan Cerny, if you're watching watching Fiend Franchise's uh, Rockies draft only, he's his center fielder he got in the Rule 5 draft. Yeah. We do not need one. Yeah, I want to skip. That should be the end of the draft. We didn't lose anybody. Ryan Jeffers going to the Mariners. Now they have Harry Ford. Now's the time to make that trade. Brady Singer to the Tigers. All right. They just paid this dude $18 million a year. Well, we can't make that trade now because we don't have that. Uh, we don't have that a potential third baseman. <clears throat> it's just wasting away. Plus, they have Cal Rally. What the fuck are these teams doing? All right, we'll see how Henry Davis. He's gonna be twenty-eight. Mm. Yeah, we're not trading you, Cutliff. You can get right off that pipe dream. Ooh, that almost did it. All right. Maybe at the deadline. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to uh, say no to making that deal. We may get forward later. All 
All right. The Braves get Jared Jones from the A's for Hackenberg and Waite. Kenny Piper goes to the Diamondbacks. Mets. Robbie Ray goes to the Mets. Just a, what they need, another ancient starting pitcher. Urquidy goes to the Phillies. Jason Adam to the Yankees. So they got Bednar and Adam. Still no offers on Yandy or Cody. Wow, really? I know he's regressing, but... <laughs> Dustin May to the Astros. The A's get Jazz Chisholm. Good for them. They finally get a high overall player. They need some players like that. Luke Rayleigh to the Braves. Braves are just getting stronger. Blade goes to the Phillies. There we go. Dodgers get Yandy Diaz. Dylan Carlson goes back to the Guardians. Alec Bohm goes to the Dodgers. Anybody else? Acevedo to the Phillies. Estrada goes back there. Bohm. Bellinger goes to the Padres. They, they probably can use him. Burger's with the Tigers now. I want to see what Burger was. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, Tigers. He's 30. He's an 86, but his contact isn't that great. He's great power against lefties. But he's regressing already. Four years in the league. I think it's when he gets close to 80 they start regressing. Although Tommy Edmond, look at this. Edmund went up to an A potential that after last season. He had 26 homers, 100 RBIs with 32 steals and 296 average and went up to an A potential. So we're going to have to pay him next year. Or as soon as we get into spring training. All right, let's go through there. Yes. New. Any other free agent sign? Chase Petty went to the Astros for Ryan Noda. Head scratcher. All right, we are to spring training, so let me save this right here. So we made one trade. Um, traded away the third baseman we got from Toronto a couple years ago. Got Yuki Matsui to help with our bullpen. So that gives us Matsui and Jojo, who also went up to an A. With Sandlin, Cano, Mason Miller, who's not as good as he in real life because this roster came out before he became the stud closer. Barlow probably goes to the minors. Zach Thompson will probably be a long reliever. <clears throat> Romano's closing. He's 33, but that's why I said if we can find a young closer to put down here in the minors, I will do that. 
I'll just move Jimmy Reyes to straight reliever. Although I could do that with Yoshida because he's only got 38 clutch. Um, so let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 plus 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, yeah, we're all good. All right, that's what it's going to be. Um, let me change my rotation. Hence, Roby. Let's make this cut lift. Okay. And lineups. These are this is just uh, spring training lineups. So I don't need him to play. We're gonna play him at third base all spring training. And we're gonna play Henry Davis all spring training. Who's missing? Second short left. Sorry, it's right field. Missing right field. new bar so and let's flip them dh let r not a dh All right, that'll be our spring training lineup, and we'll get in here, and we're going to player lock on um, pitchers, three pitchers. I'm going to pitch with Cutliff and Hens and Roby. So this won't take very long. Oh, while we're here, contract extensions. Let's see how much Tommy wants. <laughs> $100 million. I don't think we're paying you a hundred million dollars. We're definitely not paying you five years. Let's go three years. Three years at 20 million. Bam, that's a lot. How about we just go two years at 20? All right. We got him signed. Not bringing back Arenado. How much is Donovan? He's arbitration eligible, so we don't have to worry about it. These guys are still have arbitration? Really? It says free agent. It says free agent. How much does Newt want? We're not paying you five years. We'll give you three years. At 10. Donovan. pay him two years at 10 that'd be 40 million dollars for our outfield 40 million dollars for the outfield but we are dropping 32 million for Arenado. so losing Arenado pretty much pays for our outfield and we still have money to pay gorman and walker when theirs roll around We have about a hundred million after this. So we can do this. He's renewable. He's renewable. All right. So if we want to, we can bring those two back along with Tommy. That would give us our whole outfield for 40 million. Okay. All right. 
We got Tommy signed. Two years, 55 mil. I don't want to overextend myself. All right, we'll just straight sim this. We win six to three. I just want to look and see what. So JC goes 0 for 3. Davis went 1 for 4 with 3Ks. And 5 to 4. Victor Scott comes in late. So JC's 1 for 4. Davis is 1 for 4. Moves 3 to 1. He goes 0 for 3. Scott didn't bat. Davis is 0 for 3. All right. Chris Cutliff. This is our first round pick from the very first season. There we go. And we're going to. Marlins, Rise, Bichette, Mount Castle, Bell. Not a bad lineup. <laughs> Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Spring training action on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Miami Marlins. Rainy day. Just about to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one. I hate that they don't have the numbers on the back of the uniforms in spring training. The five pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting. First pitch double, that's never good. Looks like a get me over pitch. Jesus, stop with this. There we go. That's not Arnado, that's JC. He looks just like him, though. <laughs> not in real life, but in his player model, he looks just like him. Everybody's going to be confused. But Arnado for 28. Bobachet. Bobachet. That's a rope. <clears throat> well, we know this guy plays well. We've pitched with him before in the minors. Eight innings, two hits, no walks, ten strikeouts. Jesus, everything is right through the hole. If hit one ball at somebody, and it was a rocket to third base. There we go. That's a K. I like that. Well, we only gave up one run. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, Edmund hit another home run. Pitches, 
sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. Tied up here in the early goal. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Mm -hmm. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Now the left fielder, James Butler. That no, misses the zone. Oh, and that is ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground. Come on. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Right back to the mound. Could be an One and two. There we go. That'll work. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Leody Tavares. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws the first. And a quick out, number one. Nice play by Mason Wynn to get him. There we go. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. Footwork was excellent. The arm strength was there. And of course, the most important part was getting the out. The shot is out the plate and takes high there. Fuck. Yeah, get these guys out of the top of the order. Right. Through three. Let's see if they take me out. <clears throat> yep. And uh, we win. Four to three. Walker had a home run. Somebody else had one too. Two hits for Walker. Two hits for Gorman. Three hits for Edmund. Home runs by Walker and Edmund. Victor Scott with two steals. Gave up five hits in three innings, but only one run. All right, next up, Tink. The Tink man. Against the Red Sox. All right. All those left-handed batters. This will be interesting. So, almost ready to get underway and towing the slab here. Tink Pence. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And another ball. Breaking ball that drops in there. And yeah, there's a the ball. There's a the strike. 95 down. Now five ball to right. We'll get that. Get over there, Tommy. There we go. Thank you with the raid, tight spot. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Welcome back. It is rookie season. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a change. That one to first. Steps on first for the out. That is third. Devers now. Third base. Rafael. Devers. That's too high. Two out spaces in the Damn, I am like not finding his release point. There we go. Good chase. Man, 
Nobody's catching that because they're pulled way around to the other side. There you go. Pull that to second. Easy play. Uneven full first inning. That's hammered foul. Like that pitch? What a change up. Ooh, Thank you, Jimmy. Just throw him this big banana curve. Pound him up and in. No harm, no foul. So tight spot, I don't know if you saw what we did. We traded uh, that a potential third base prospect that's ready to go. And a... Uh, Minor league left fielder and AJ Smith Shaver to the Angels. And we got Yuki Matsui and a potential young third baseman that's like 64 overall. Yeah, so we replaced the third baseman with a younger one. And then we got a stud lefty to go with JoJo in the bullpen. So now we have Matsui and JoJo and Romano that can all close. Um, so we have two power lefties for late in the uh, game. I think we were missing that last year because all we had was the long reliever and Thompson and then JoJo. So that gives us another lefty at the back end of the bullpen. I'll get it. Get out of my way. And the stupid... Mariners went and signed Ryan Jeffers when they already had Cal Raleigh and Harry Ford. So now I really wish I had made that trade to get Ford, but we'll see. If I have to at the trade deadline or if if uh, if Contreras gets hurt and um, Davis is not cutting it, we'll go trade for Ford. I'll trade what I have to to get Ford. You hook that right to him. Come on. There we go. Five straight outs, six, seven, eight straight outs. We're in the third inning already. And there's going to be nine. These two guys are fun to pitch with. So here's what the plan is. Cutliff is the guy I'm planning on coming up and being their five starter. But if for some reason I feel that he's not ready, we'll send him back to AAA. He'll be the number one starter there. I'll put Tink Hens in the rotation as number five. And Bueller has two years left on his deal. If I have to, I'll move him next year and clear room for Hentz. So we'll have Painter and Hentz and Cutliff to go with Bybee and Frommer Valdez. Five to four, the Cardinals win. Hey, Henry Davis with a home run. Walker, Edmund, and Davis with home runs. Bybee get lit up a little bit. I'm uh, not starting Contreras every game at catcher. We want Davis to play. We want JC to play. I've got some guys that I need to see what they do. They're gonna they're gonna be on the bench to start the season. Send this. We win seven to one. Two hits for Newt Barr, two hits for Gorman, two hits and five RBIs for Jordan Walker. Gorman with a homer. Valdez pitched great. Bullpen did their job. Gotta love that. And then we get hammered 11 to 1. And hammered 10 to 1. My God. Who was not pitching well? 
Bybee. Well, he just pitched back-to-back -back days. Mason Miller. And... Painter, Bueller, Sandlin. Oh, here's, here's another. The Mets signed... They traded for Tovar when they already had Lindor. And they signed... Um, Jonah Heim, I think, when they already had Francisco Alvarez on the team. I don't understand this team. I don't understand this team. <laughs> All right, Cutliff again against Houston. Let's go. It should be caught. There we go. It's been giving us some hard hits. He's got a pretty high hits per nine, too. I'm not sure if he has the most velocity. These guys are going up swinging on him. Look, he's got 85 hits per nine. His pitching clutch is a bit low. That's concerning. But... If we don't let him get on base in the first place, it shouldn't be a problem. He had no problem in the minors. It's double A last year, his ERA was like 117, and triple A was like 320. That might be. No, it's going to be five. Roby and uh, Hence did not have good triple A seasons. Like their ERAs were in the high, high eight threes, mid fours. That's tagged. It might be out of here. Nope. Up against the wall. Get there, Mason. Scoop. Throw. Got him. I need to see if Tucker's going to be a free agent next year or not. That would be one reason to not sign Donovan and Newt Barr. Imagine throwing Kyle Tucker in the middle of our lineup. Gotta fix Davis's gear too. I think he's still got black and stuff. Maybe blue or red. Fuck. Wearing me out. There we go. Chase. Thank you. Some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out 
there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. And just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. There we go. He's so damn short, you can't pitch at the top of the zone without it being right down the fucking pipe. So sound in his mechanics, hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Ooh. Needed that pitch. Got him. That's the second out. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at the end. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough. Three. Filthy curveball to strike him out. All right. No runs in three innings for him. And we give up three runs in the ninth inning. Romano blows it. That's okay. All right, that's one run in six innings for Cutliff. Going to uh, swap out probably Tanner Bybee um, or Takoa Roby. So next time we get to Bybee's spot in rotation, Roby will pitch. So where are we at? 211. So we'll pitch this game. I'm thinking maybe you pitch three games with all three of these pitchers. So we'll pitch. One more with Cutliff, this one and one more with Hence, and then three with, with Roby, and call it a day. Get that. Throw him. Get him. Get him. Too late. That's too late. Foul. Here, but a runner at third with one down. Back to right. Newt Bar pulls that one down. Runner takes the 
Bad throw, and he's safe. That's okay. How does he turn on that pitch that's up and in like that? That's, ooh, <laughs> thank God it was foul. I was like, that's, get out of here. Make a good pitch and get penalized. How the hell did he hit that? He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Pitch. <laughs> and he did not like the call. Here's Alex Kirilov. Four for one. He grounded out to first his last time. One and oh. In the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly up. There, Tommy, get there, get there. Nope. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I could see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Runners at first and second with one gone. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And to a lady. Got a filthy changeup. <laughs> Around the strike zone, they want to attack, and so you kind of get in the swing mode, and you have to protect. 
like the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. And now it's one and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Threw open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And that is that. Jimenez. And that's downstairs and outside. Jimenez, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. That misses. Yeah, the count's even at two. Ground ball up the middle. Sneaks through. Base head. And now, Matt Wallman. Foul ball there. Here comes the 01. That's a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, two away. So digging in, Byron Buxton gets the outside corner with that one. And the slider catches the zone. One ball. That one upstairs. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. All right, pitch out of another jam. Hey, it actually feels like I'm pitching better with uh, Tink Hentz than Cutliff. They're not hitting the ball as hard off Tink as they are Cutliff. Cutliff has better hits per nine, so I don't know. Look at all those home runs. My goodness, three home runs. Go look at some stats and see what these guys are doing through two starts. All right, Cutliff, nine innings, three walks, 12 strikeouts, a one ERA, and a one whip. Tink, seven innings, no walks, six strikeouts, 2.57 ERA, 0.86 whip. I think our starting rotation is pretty good going forward. Um, would I be crazy to trade Walker Bueller and bring both of them up? Can I pull a Mr. Hurricane and bring up two rookies? <laughs> Maybe I'll wait and see how Bueller does in a regular season. They're both killing it. Let's go get Roby in the uh, rotation. Went six to four of that game. against the Nationals and Garrett Crochet. We have a injury to the starting rotation anywhere. I think we're in really good shape between these three guys. One's going to be in the rotation. The other two would have a chance to come up and uh, fill in if needed for an injury. <clears throat> about set. Our starter in this one, Garrett Crochet. Lots 
to punch outs. A real strikeout artist, Singy. A power pitcher that is going to pitch aggressively with the fastball. His fastball velocity ranks near the top in the league. He'll also throw the slider, but if you're a hitter, be ready for the fastball. You're going to see a few of them during your at-bat. It's a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. The throw to first. His motion is funky, and it's not easy to uh, time on the uh, eater. That one misses in the dirt. Cruz measures six feet even, 205 pounds, a former first-round pick in 2023. One out, base is empty. Next offering upstairs. Two one. Just gonna flip that into right field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. <laughs> Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get it into motion. There we go. Got him. He's out. Good throw by Davis. Or is that Contreras? Might be Contreras. Yeah, it was Contreras. Five, four, three, there we go. I want this guy. This guy's going to be a stud when he gets to the major leagues. Almost killed somebody in their dugout. Walker dives, doinks it off his head. Ooh, that was not where I wanted it. <laughs> I was smoked up the middle. that held him 
All right, bases loaded, nobody out. Throw to the plate. Nope, didn't go. Get him? No, he's safe. Close play. All right, they get one run out of that. Could have been a whole lot worse. Over the middle. Careless, careless. You got him one and two, and you throw it right down the middle. go he's a little more difficult to pitch with he would take a lot of practice and all right you guys want to see anything different want me to bat with somebody instead We got three weeks of spring training left. I want to get another start for Cutliff and Hence. Probably skip that one and that one. Let's see. Koa. It's Washington again. God, how many times are you going to play Washington? Mets. Austin. Twins. That's all we do. Let's sim one and see what happens. We lose one to nothing. Four innings, three hits, one run, no walks, five Ks. So he sims really well. Tink. Seven runs and an inning a third. So he doesn't sim as well. <laughs> All right, Roby, how do you sim? Four innings, no runs. Not bad. Let me save because we haven't saved in forever. All right, we'll start these two games. This game with Roby, and I think we're going to be done. We'll just sim the rest out. We're at two and a half hours, so three hours would be more than I intended. I only figured I'd only do two hours, but we spent an hour and a half before we actually made any moves. So, 
Let's uh, pitch these three games and we're done. All right. Now we have a lefty against all these lefties. That should be in our favor. Wow, that shit was over his head. <laughs> that was completely missed on location, and he bails us out. Bring him up. Come on. on first and third, two away. The other way, Gorman. Crosses the first out, third out, and that ends the frame. And we're back. And now, Sadine Raffaella. In the air, out to center. Edmund in position. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. And stepping in for Boston, Kyle Teal. Here at the knees. And that is strike oh, one. In the air, left field. Walker makes the catch. That's out number two. And here is Roman Anthony. Ball Outside one. low, ball one. Second inning here, no score. No. Ooh. Wanted that. Give me that. I need that strike up there. Fix cutlass shoes so they're not blue. Back to the top of the lineup. Masataka Yoshida up next to the Red Sox. There's a strike. No ball. One out, base is empty. One, two. 
Damn. At the plate now. That's ball one. And a foul ball. The one two. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. The punch out there. Two away. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Bottom of the fourth, stepping in the long ball threat, Tristan Casas. And there's a foul ball. And it's one and one. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Next ball for his situation here, he's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. Son of a bitch. Quit hitting him through the hole. Make good pitches and get fucked for it. Come on. That was a great pitch. Got him. Straightened him up a little bit. 
Red Sox leading it by two. Last half of inning, number five. That's foul. To the right side, and it goes just foul. Ground ball, Mailer. He handles it himself. Out. Two up, two down. Two out, space is empty. Here's Rafael Devers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Space is empty. And he grounds one to the right side. Gets it to first. Out. Red Sox go one, two, three. Back now down for the bottom of the It's out. Days. Tink is in. <clears throat> we lost seven five. I said JC hit a two run double and a grand slam. Wow. No, we won. I'm sorry. Two for three with six RBI. Jeez Louise. And a, no, you get Costello. Barlow, Romano. Tink, Roby, Dunn. You guys feel like playing in CAA? You want to see some Raging Cajuns tonight? Shot. Oh, what a catch. My goodness. Donovan robs him of an extra base hit. Look at this diving catch. Five 
Richard Buxton. Bounce up the middle. Win. That takes care of Buxton. Here's Carlos Correa. Right through there for a strike. The Cardinals leading by three. You're the last half to third. Fly ball down the line. This has got to change. Still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. I'm going to tone down these foul balls before we start the season. I'm going to tick it down to like two from the left because it's just ridiculous the amount of foul balls. Ooh, wasn't sure he was going to get there. Wow, just knocked that over. This bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Julian stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Pitch misses there. That's ball two. And maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You don't think in and over. two-strike changeup just missed and he wanted that call swing and that ball smashed on the line and calls it in and there's one away Jimenez batting for the second time and that strike one the cards leading by three last half of inning number five sizing this one up Twin up to him. Just missed. Next offering upstairs. Right into the plate. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Ripped on a line. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Buxton, the next twin 
enough to hit. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. To the right side. Gorman. Over to first. We offer Tink. Back now for the bottom yep. of the six. And there's a and a seven to one win. Five innings, two hits, one earned run. One more game with Roby and we're done. And let me see, that would be Painter, Cutler, Dance Feathers. Looks like it's going to be Miami either way, so let's just do it right now. All right, last game of spring training for us to play. We'll call it a night, and, and welcome in everybody. I will. Uh, I will not play football tonight. Getting a little tired, so maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe late tomorrow night. Got him. You're you're dead. Greedy little shit. Get that. There we go. Top of the second. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. There's the strike. Right through there for a strike. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about that. He's going to stand there and take three pitches. I'll keep pouring him in the strike zone. Was six straight strikes. I don't know what the hell they're looking for. Seven. It's eight strikes. Are we having an immaculate inning? No. It's going to take ten. Or love. Back close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. So he gets on base and keeps it going. <laughs> Off my leg. No chance. Go from almost having an immaculate inning to back to back hits. And now they're going to score a run? No, thank you. I was going to say, what a bullshit ending that would have been.
Austin Naylor. One up, one down. So the batting order turns over. Leody Tavares getting ready to hit. Oh, that's it. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. He replaced Jazz with Leody. Didn't sound like he hit the ball that hard. Throw him out. That sounded like just a little pop fly. That's gone. No. It's a tall wall. Almost threw him out. That was a terrible swing. that Two more outs. He's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Salas stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is downstairs. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. It's outside. Two and one. Base is empty one away at the top of the fifth. Way out front for strike two. Down again. Fouled off again. It remains 
three and two. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact. With Got him. The there we go. Finally got him out. All right, we should be done. Yep. And we win two to one. Yeah. All right, let's send to the end of spring. See if we have any injuries, and uh, see what their final stats are. Because I want to see some of their sim games too. Three, seven, five. All right. All done. We were 18 and 12. Tommy hit 295 with 4, 10, and 6. So JC, six home runs with 19 ribs, hit 297. That's our Arenado replacement right there. Donovan, 347. Gorman, five home runs. Henry, Bounced back, 261. Walker, Wynn, Naylor. Newt Bar didn't do well. Arnada was okay. Victor Scott did really well. Six stolen bases. Contreras did not do well. Valdez, 34 innings. Cutliffe, 369 with a 120. Tink suffered in the sim. 488, Roby 494. Looks like they got beat up in their last couple of starts. Yeah, we're going to go with Cutliff. Cutliff is going to uh, go north. Hence and Roby will be there. Hence will be first over Roby. Um, see how that goes. Matsui, 17 innings, no earned runs. <laughs> 034 whip. JoJo, 11 innings, 0 ERA. Our lefties, Zach Thompson, look at that, 0 0 and 113. Our lefties shut them down. All right, well, if Romero, Romano doesn't do it, we know we can put one of the two lefties in as a closer. So. I'm going to save this right now before we advance because I want to go in off camera and move guys up and down, put them in double A, triple A. Won't make you guys sit through that. One thing I'm going to do before I forget, I want to edit his equipment. I'll go with the blue mask. And let's go with that. And we needed to fix Cutliff's shoes. Thank you. 
anybody else. Let's check out Matsui. And we've got JC. Let's fix his cleats and give him white pieces. Okay. And Mr. Victor Scott. He looks good. He's got grippy shoes on. And this was our first round pick that the game took away from us. So that's what he is. Hopefully he'll be ready in a year or two. So. All right. All right, boys and girls, that is it. We are done. Three hours and ten minutes, probably an hour longer than I intended, but yeah, well, it is it is what it is. So, thank you everybody for stopping by. Had a uh, good crew in here tonight. You guys weren't very talkative, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go raid FG because I haven't had a chance to raid FG in forever. So we're gonna go hit up FG. He's playing. Uh, is FGFL Madden season week 10. So we'll not be doing baseball, but we'll we'll go uh, watch him. And you guys are ready. We'll head on over there. So um, I don't know when I'll be back next. Um, I'm going to do some late night streams, whether it's baseball or college football. Um, but it won't be during the day for a while. We're going to take days off, do them at night. So anyway, you guys take care. Watch your... Uh, notifications on uh, discord and on twitch and uh, i will check you guys out again next time with opening day and uh, we'll pitch the first day with uh, framber valdez and then we'll go ahead to chris cutliff's major league debut and we'll play that game as well and then we'll probably do a bunch of player locks after that so um maybe we'll just play lock with cutliff and then play another full game later but stay tuned We'll be doing that sometime, probably mm, maybe next week, maybe Friday, maybe next week. We'll see. Definitely not tomorrow. Uh, we got NWO tomorrow at 5 o'clock, guys. Don't forget about that. So anyway, you guys take care, and I will see you over in FG's stream. You guys have a good one. Mm -hmm.